So the last movie I want to talk about today is, um, and the light is totally like messed up right now. I was trying to do this before the sun went down, clearly. I failed. Um, the last movie I saw, literally just saw it, was Karen Kusama's Destroyer. So obviously Karen Kusama made, um, I still haven't seen Aeon Flux, but she made Girl Fight and she made The Invitation a few years ago, which I really, really loved, and uh, Jennifer's Body. And this is written by Phil Hay and Matt Manfred, and I think Phil Hay is her husband, if I remember correctly. Um, and it stars Nicole Kidman as a detective who is solving a murder. And I'm going to put big old spoilers because I'm going to talk about some spoilery, spoilery, spoilery stuff. One, this, uh, the whole tone of this film felt like a Jim Thompson to me um, for a few, re couple of reasons. One, it's mostly set out in um, Inland Empire out towards like uh, that awful part of the desert that is kind of Los Angeles but not really anymore and it's just awful and um, it's a crime capital like suicide capital is the worst place in California. Um, I don't care who you are. That's the worst place in all of California. And um, Jim Thompson set several of his novels there. And it had that just, just beat down um, awfulness of, of his sort of oeuvre and how there's the, no matter who you are, no matter what your job is in a Jim Thompson, you hate life because life is just shit. Um, and you really get that from this film. Two, I really liked the structure. And here's a spoiler. Spoils. Spoils. Um, it uses nonlinear editing, nonlinear storytelling, to create a unreliable narrative. So instead of having an unreliable narrator, which is always a good thing, um, one of my favorite bits about crime fiction, really, and any fiction, there's you, you always get an unreliable narrator. Instead of having an unreliable narrator, you have an unreliable narration that reveals things to you in the wrong order many times, including the final reveal, which I thought was fucking brilliant because um, I didn't see it coming. I never see it coming. That's kind of why I like uh, crime fiction is I, I, most of the time I don't see it coming. And then I'm like, oh you did that, didn't you? And then you go back and read it again, and you're like, oh, there's where all those signs I should have noticed. Um, this is a good job of going, oh, man, I should have noticed. Um, a. B, I particularly liked sort of some of the bits with uh, Nicole Kidman's character and her, her daughter and the way in which that sort of unhealthy relationship is presented whether it fits in with the uh, plot doesn't necessarily, like, it doesn't move the plot forward. It gives the char the character color, and I'm okay with that, um, even though it makes it for, makes for a longer film. I particularly liked one scene with them where the girl is trying to remember one good memory, and her one good memory is actually kind of a shit memory, and um, she's then saying, you know, to her, her mom, Nicole Kidman's character, like, you know, you are fucking terrible. And, and I know that you're going to say, you know, at least I wasn't, at least I didn't leave you at home alone for weeks with your brothers and um, a box of cereal, which is indicated that, that that's the kind of neglect her mother had been on her. She does a different kind of neglect. And what I loved about that is that that's something I have, a, I have experienced, um, where you are treated one way that is terrible and then the person treating you that way and in this particular case your mother says hey at least I'm not beating you or something like that where they um argue that their treatment is at least slightly better than the way they were treated so it's it's it evens out kind of but the point of the film is that it doesn't ever even out and that um Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that's the layer there. Oh, shit. My brain just went. Oh. There's another part where she asks somebody, you know, when does it even out? And he's like, you don't get it, do you? I just got that. Oh, my God. Okay, so, yeah. So, the treatment of the daughter is the same kind of thing. That it never evens out. Um, this bad behavior just keeps spir spiraling. Um, I hadn't thought of that till as I was saying it. Wow. Okay, so I liked that a lot. I liked that aspect of it. I liked the way that it showcased 
um, some of the, like, really shitty parts of L.A. Because you usually get with L.A. Noir, you usually get, you know, sort of the neon and stuff. And this was, like, all those shitty uh, desert roadways that are just dry and gross. Um, you kind of had this uh, flashback within the narrative where you see you're unsure which character is is going to I mean if you've seen the trailer you know that that um somebody fucks up as as an undercover agent and and you kind of don't expect the one that you're that you get except that you kind of do if you know any you know there's a whole slew of um movies where the woman ends up being the one spoilers who is is using the badge to um you know, for her own ends. I'm thinking something like, uh, I think it's, is it High Crime? It's not High Crimes. Um, it's Ashley Judd movie that I'm thinking of. It's not Kiss the Girls. It's the sequel, Along Came a Spider. Along Came a Spider had a similar sort of reveal, except that it wasn't the main character. Um, so I just spoiled Along Came a Spider. Sorry. Um, where you expect the man to be the villain the whole time. And, it, and it, you know, women are often considered you know, less villainous or whatever, but most of the women in this film are just as villainous as the villainous men because, you know, anyone can be greedy or anyone can be desperate. Um, that's kind of what the film is trying to say, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I had, a, I had another point. But I don't remember what it was. Oh, I wanted to point out another film that I thought completely unrelated film but tackled the um, aspect of a a mother being a shitty mother because of her obsessive, addictive job. And um, that would be Fort Bliss. It came out in 20, I think, 2014. Uh, Fort Bliss is about a, a woman who is an army med tech who sort of basically abandons her, her son, um, because of the nature of her job and being deployed, um, sort of a, a key is like a flip on um, some of the aspects of what happens in, um, in Hurt Locker, actually, where she's just so addicted to the job. Um, with Michelle Monaghan, it's written and directed by Claudia Myers, and um, I definitely recommend that because it's another film that really explores what happens when you are a parent and then you're in this sort of very different, um, unexpectedly, uh, difficult position of trying to be a, a mother and, and what people expect of mothers while also being really good at a job that requires more attention than you can give it and also be a typically good mother. Um, yes. So four plus. So this is Destroyer. It's Directed by Karen Kusama, it stars Nicole Kidman. I thought it was a very good uh, neo noir. I'm excited to recommend it during November next year because or later this year. Um, so we have a whole bunch of female directed noir now, um, and we need more of them. So I, I'm team. I liked this movie, and I thought it worked for me. And um, I like a good bleak Jim Thompson esque crime yarn. So this is Destroyer. It's in theaters now. I recommend it.